Alın. Eşen. Full house. What's up guys, it's Lapshi here. It's been a pretty bad few day run. Today we're at uh, Cowboys Hussein playing some 3-5 for the first time on this vlog. Let's see how we do and let's get out of this bad run. Sitting on the small blind and we peel pocket eight. The button bets to $15 and we decide to raise it to 40 and the button calls. The flop comes a nine, six, and a four. I continue to see bet for $50 and the button calls. Ay yeah. I hope he's just on a draw. The turn comes a seven of spades. I don't think he has a five or an eight. So I decided to bet $100 and then he raises to $250. What the hell here? Does he have a two pair or a set? That's pretty strange. So I tank for a little bit and decide to put him all in for another $525. He then makes the call. Ay, yeah. Let's tune into the video and see what happens. All in. Hey, Sam. The river is a ace of diamond. He shows a 6-5 of clubs, missing his straight and the flush. We take down a $435 pot. The very next hand, we're sitting on the button. We peel pocket nines. Thank you very much, dealer. The low jack bets to 30, and then we decide to raise it to $100. And the low jack calls. The flop comes a 10 three and a two the low jack checks and so do we just because we don't want to see bet every single hand the turn comes a five of diamonds essentially a brick the low jack bets a 75 and we just decide to make the call the river comes a six of heart the low jack decides to bet for 250 dollars what the hell it's such a strange story i tank for a while and then I decide to make a hero call, hoping he does not have a four. Let's see what happens in this video. He shows a ace queen as a bluff. We take down another $758 pot. Sitting in the big blind, we peel pocket aces. Thank you very much, dealer. Under the gun, best at 15, and we decide to raise it to 45. He then re-raises it to 150. We just make the call. The flop comes a 4, 10, and the king. The board is pretty clean. I hope he doesn't have pocket kings. I check it. He bets to $90, and I just make the call. The turn comes a 8. I check it again, and under the gun, best to 200. I tank for about 20 seconds. And flip in a chip for our all in and started staring at the board holding still. Under the gun goes into the blender for some time. And after a two minute tank, I'm quite happy that he isn't snap calling. Let's see what happens. No more action. Aces. He ends up making the call. This was the same person that bluffed us in a huge pot a couple of sessions ago and got us to fold. If you want to see that hand, check out our comment section. The link is below. We take down a $1,683 pot. We're sitting on the low jack and we peel pocket fives. The button straddles for $10. The small blind bets to $30. The big blind calls and I call. I said I was priced in and start laughing. The button and then squeezes to $110. The small blind calls and the big blind calls. And so do I. The flop comes a queen, queen and a five. We flop a full house. Thank you very, very much dealer. We get two checks 
and we decide to bet $150 just to see if anyone hit the queen or a five. The button calls. The turn is now a eight. I check to hide my hand to see if the button caught up and he checks as well. The river comes a three of diamond, essentially another brick. And without thinking too much, I take the chips in front of my stack and put it in for another $250. The button snap calls and we show a full house. Ye mugs, we take down another $1130 pot. Full house. We're sitting on the cutout and we peel a jack, three of diamonds. We're next in action and decide to bet $15. The big blind calls, the flop comes a four, four and a seven. We both check it through. The turn is a jack of hearts. We pink the top pair and decide to bet $20. The big blind jams are $232. Ay ya, what the hell? We're up quite a lot and decide to give some action. We make the call. The river is a king. The big blind shows a eight and a four. We lose a $497 pot. We're sitting on the small blind. We peel a 10 and an eight of spade suited connectors. The plus one raises to $30. The cutoff calls and so do we. The flop comes a nine. 10 and a 2. We pink the top pair and the flush draw. Thank you very much, dealer. We decide to bet to $60 and we have two callers. I decide to tell everybody we have to leave after the button. No, I'm leaving after the button. I gotta go take my money back at uh, Peter's. <laughs> the turn is now a king of spades. We pink the flush. Thank you very, very much, dealer. We bet another $150, the plus one folds, and the cutoff calls. The river now is a seven of diamonds. We do another value bet for $125, the cutoff calls. Let's see the video. We show the flush, he mucks his hand, and we take down another $823 pot. I'm just going to sneak behind it. Yeah, sure. Oh, great. At three hard sessions, finally up one. Finally, we're out of the drought. We're down the last couple of sessions. I want to thank you all for tuning in as we're still learning to vlog and playing poker. If you get a chance, please give this video a like and a comment on how I can improve on my future vlogs. I still notice 90% of you are not subscribed to my channel. If you want to see more action, please click on that sub and ring that notification button. And if you aren't subscribed, what the hell man? Let's go to our outro. What's up guys? Oh, finally, we were playing for so long and we finally get our first win in a while. Today we popped in about a thousand dollar buy-in and we cash out at uh, $3,591 making our total profit of $2,591 in about three hours time. So that's, uh, that's pretty good, I guess. Now, hopefully we can continue this uh, play a bit smarter and more GTO-ish. See how we go in the next session. Thank you for tuning in. Let's chat in the next video.